This is the Grandpa Weeder. I use it on things that are a little bit big or bigger than just little sprouts. These are bittersweet vines and this is able to pull them very quickly. I can even do this while I'm sitting down. Look at that. Super easy. Even pulled this one too. Oh, got a tree root here. Tilt it, comes out like that. And usually I have a wheelbarrow next to me or a bucket or something. I don't even have to press with my foot. Shake the dirt off. And look, this is a dandelion over here. Oops. <laughs> That's my new gadget. It's called Grandpa's Weeder, and I really like it a lot. Let me do just one more. This is so fun. And I like to see my beds weed-free. <laughs> there we go. Super easy. It has this lever over here. So once you push it in into the ground, you step on this. You don't have to really, but if you do, if you have hard ground, you step on this and it tilts it and pulls the weed up. It holds onto the weed most of the time and you take it out. Let me see if I can show you one more. There we go. There we go. Super easy. Here's the next one. So this is called a cultivator. You could also use it to uh, till in the fertilizer into the soil if you want. I'll probably be doing that because I just applied some fertilizer into my beds. But with this one, you just kind of go like this. And it doesn't really work on big weeds. I noticed that it works best on smaller ones. Kind of have to go back and forth a little bit. And it pulls them up. I don't, I'm not going to be using it in this bed because I have the bittersweet vines and they'll just grow and their roots will get thicker and so on. I prefer the I prefer pulling these. But it works on smaller things. You can see you just kind of do that and and this would work. So I used to do this in the past where I would come once a week or twice a week and I just kind of till the surface of the soil and this would remove any fresh weeds that are sprouting and you want to do that while the weeds are still in their super young stage barely sprouted you can't even see them you you know if you you have to look really carefully to see the weeds so this would work great for that and I have another one that would work for the same purpose as this one and let me show you that one so this right here is just a metal rake and I use it just like I showed you with the cultivator uh, I do the same thing with it and I just scratch the surface of the soil if you can see right here behind me right there you just kind of go like this back and forth and it removes any small weeds like that but it does require a little bit more force than the cultivator because of the prongs of the cultivator it has an easier time digging into the soil and removing those weeds while this one requires a little more force, even if you do use the side with the prongs, it's just, it's a lot easier with a cultivator and you don't create as much of a mess um, as with this one. But if that's the only thing that you have and you don't want to purchase a new tool, this would work. It just requires a little more force. And here is just your standard hoe and with this one you just kind of again do this same thing as the rake I think this is just a tiny bit easier than the rake but uh, this is again you want to use this on on really small sprouts that have barely just sprouted uh, in, 
to the surface over the surface of the ground and uh, because if you have anything that's large or anything that is of an invasive species uh, or something that if you just cut the tip off is going to sprout back uh, you don't necessarily want to use that on it because those weeds are just going to come back bigger and stronger uh, some weeds some weeds will thicken their uh, root system and their base uh, like for example if they are vines or bushes or a type of grass or something like that those are just going to get stronger so I think the grandpa grandpa's weeder would work the best on that this is the grandpa's weeder so this would work the best on those type of weeds the weeds that would you have to pull by hand if you don't want to use your hand if you don't want to bend over and I got these I got this one because I want to do weeding while I'm sitting because I've, as you have seen I have a cast on my foot and I can't put a lot of pressure on it and I want to be sitting down and doing some work and this helps me do that and I can do the same with these tools but I like you know again there are certain things that have to be pulled by hand and the grandpa's weeder is the best for that i have one more tool that i just got i haven't tried yet but i've heard so many good things about it so i wanted to try it out myself because again i want the work to be easy on me i don't want to hurt myself and then in a different uh, location of my body so let me show you the next tool so this i believe is called a hula ho and I wanted one of these for years and I finally got it. <laughs> so yes, this is what it says, hula ho. So it is a hula ho. Uh, so with this one, same thing, but this one has a really sharp edge right here on both sides. And this sharp edge cuts the weeds right at the base and you can dig a little bit into the ground and I'll show you that up close. And you just remove the weeds from under the surface of the soil and it doesn't require force at all. I have an area here behind me that I have to do that on because I just wasn't able to pull them by hand. And this is really nice. Now, I mean, I can sit over here and just do this and it's super easy and this is just this is going to help me keep my beds maintained with the tools that I've showed you especially with this one and the grandpa's weeder and it's going to keep things a little bit under control if you don't want to put a lot of effort into weeding if you want to make the job easier on yourself you want to have some tools that are going to help you uh, with weeding now I have two more tools that I didn't bring with me over here I just didn't want to keep walking back and forth and one of those tools is the uh, hori, hori Hori knife and I use that for all sorts of different applications I love that tool this is like one of my favorite tools in gardening and I use that for planting for di for digging holes for weeding for dividing plants if you have a plant because it is it has a sharp edge a serrated knife and a sharp edge uh, uh, it has both of these in it it just it works great for dividing plants if you are dividing whatever type of perennial that you are dividing and you want to plant it in different locations so that works really well for that as well as in weeding. There's another type of weeder that I've seen uh, for years, but I'm not sure if I do really need that or not. Maybe one day I'll get it and I'll decide whether it was worth it or not. And it's kind of like a snake type of end. It has this like bendy end. And uh, if I can find a picture, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. And I don't know the name of that tool but I'll look it up and see if I can find it and supposedly that I think is supposed to help with uh, weeds that have really long taproot. Another tool that I also have but didn't bring with me is uh, something that is like a traditional hoe but it has uh, forks at the end of it. It has three forks and that you would use sort of like I, would, I did with a rake. Um, I personally would rather use a rake than that, a metal rake than that. I think that would 
cover more surface area but if you have I guess something that has really deep roots you might want to use the fork that has the 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 hoe that has the fork um, head or prongs shut up and sit down Those are the tools that I have for weeding over here and I think my favorites of all of these are this hula hoe and grandpa's weeder and these are my two new tools and I'm so happy that I got them and I think that if they break I'm gonna be very sad and I'll order new ones. <laughs> Uh, every day a package arrives at the house my husband my husband says what is this woman ordering he's just joking but you know it kind of looks funny because they come in these really large boxes that just makes no sense for these kind of tools to be in and they're floating around in in the package uh, but I'm just so glad I got them and if you guys are interested in any of these tools I will be leaving links for all of them down in, des in the description box below or at least for the ones that I can find I have the links for these two, I'm confident of that. The um, cultivator, I got that from Home Depot, but I'm sure I can find a link for that on, and I'll put it for you guys in the description box below. And if you are new here, my name is Chantel. I'm so glad you have joined me. I have a lot of videos on gardening and self-sufficiency and from scratch cooking. And I wanna thank you for being here. And if you are new here, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of whenever I upload new videos. And oh, right here next to me, you will see more gardening and other videos in here. So uh, go ahead and click those and you can continue watching. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I also want to give you just a quick update on the columbine. They finally came up. This one and this one over here. They're a little small, but I'm sure I gave them time. And they'll grow and they'll give me beautiful blooms.